Hey, very special episode of uh, Cup of Tea TV. We are here in the Irish World Academy of Music and Dance on the UL campus, and I'm looking for a man called Quentin Vestuer, uh, a very talented harp player. So uh, I think the room is just up here. Yeah, he's in here. Hey, hey my friend. How are you? How are you? Good, good to see you. <laughs> It's good to see you. Don't stop playing, keep playing. Okay. <laughs> well, I was playing. Quentin the Steward. Welcome back to Cup of Tea TV and I'm proud to say we are in the Irish World Academy of Music and Dance on the UL Complex. What a great facility. And I'm here with Mr. Quentin Vestuer. Hi. Did I pronounce that right? Yeah. yeah. Quentin Vestuer actually. But I Quentin, Vestuer. Quentin Vestuer. Quentin Vestuer. Quentin Vestuer. I always say Quentin for the people here. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. The likes of myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say Quentin. Quentin. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, Quentin, uh, tell us where you're from first of all. So I'm from uh, Brittany, which is in France. Mm -hmm. um, I was born there, but I grew up also near Paris, so I know the both uh, sides uh, cool. of this, this place. You know? Very cool. And you're a, a harp player, obviously. That's it. Yeah. Um, mainly, I would say, because I, I started to play music with the piano uh, when I was a young kid, and then I, I play flute as well, Very cool. uh, but mainly the harp now. The, so the liver harp, and also the wire string harp, which mm -hmm. is the, the old Irish harp, uh, because it, there is plenty of different instruments, uh, different harps. So right. I only play the these two two kind of uh, instruments. Okay. Yeah. So you started off with the piano and flute, and why did you then develop onto the harp? Well, I was really fascinated by the um, by the history of these instruments mm -hmm. and his sound as well. Uh, and I thought it was um, disappeared uh, until the time I found some lessons of classical harp, which mm -hmm. is more common in France. Uh, so I started to play a bit classical harp and then I quickly moved in, into trad music, so trad harp, lever harp. And How did you move then from, from classical to, to um, so Are you talking about Irish trad music or, or is it yeah, French um, it was Breton traditional, Breton, first of all, okay. yeah. and yeah. quickly Irish music as well. Because mm -hmm. um, so the, the story of the harp is so related to the, the Irish music and the Irish yeah. uh, mm. history that I, I'm, I would say if you, if you play Celtic harp, uh, you have to get uh, at least a small interest of, uh, of this music. Mm. Maybe not played, but um, it's interesting anyway to, to know what, what happened to this instrument uh, during the his history. Right. Yeah. Cool. So um, what brought you to Ireland? You've obviously studied in, in France music. Was it nine years? Oh yeah, I did nine, nine years. years of studies, yeah. and musical studies. <laughs> Full-time student. <laughs> yeah. In, uh, so nine years, including including the um, final year I did here in Ireland. So, okay. Yeah. So I started to uh, study musicology in La Sorbonne in Paris. Mm -hmm. And then I moved in Brittany in Quimper, it's a small, a small city which is really, really nice and and really authentic, I would say, mm -hmm. uh, just to um, practice more Breton music. And then I moved in, in Rennes, which is the biggest city in Brittany, because I was a part of the very first class of um, high studies of trad music. Mm -hmm. they, they just opened a, a new class, new studies. So I spent f uh, three years here to get a BA of Breton music performance, I would say. And then one year of teaching to get a teaching diploma, because in France you have to to get this diploma if you want to be recognized and right. and be be employed in the conservatories or mm -hmm. big institutes like this, and um, and then I finished here in Ireland. It was an old dream to come in Ireland to study yeah. or even just to travel, 
And I thought mm, maybe it should, should be nice to study because uh, the academy here gave me a frame and, and also it made, it made me meet a lot of people like, really quickly. Could you explain a little bit of Breton mm. music? Sure. Is so it, what is, it the, is it the area? Is Breton or is the style of music? So it? yeah, <clears throat> Brittany is an area in, in, in the west part of France, okay. and it's um, known as a Celtic country because the, the, there is a language here, uh, which is Celtic. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not spoken so much anymore, um, but there is a um, revival, so it's it's more and more uh, spoken now. Okay. Um, Kind of and similar to Ireland, I mean, our, our language. Yeah, is exactly. The story is quite, quite similar. Yeah. Little, yeah. yeah, and so um, there is a, a special kind of music as well, and specific instruments mm -hmm. like the, the bombard and the bidou. They are very famous, very loud and instruments. Right. It's a bagpipe and a kind of oboe, and they, they are always played together. Um, and so, um, Breton music is famous for dance music and as well. For his laments, uh, which are which is which are called um, guers guersio, okay. and um, it's a unique style of lament because all the stories which are uh, told uh, they they are true, like they relate they relate um, um, a past event and sometimes it's very very old. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say Breton music looks a bit like medieval music, uh, and. Irish dance music is more like the 17th or okay. 18th century music. You know, it's a bit different. <clears throat> cool. Yeah. So um, you've been studying for nine years or so now. Where do you see yourself maybe it's in the future? Maybe in five years' time or six? Yeah, do you want to be with a group? Do you want to be solo? Well, what do you think? So I have a few projects. It's a very good question. Um, I think um, try to set up a life in, in Brittany and try to uh, like set up bands and things like this. I, I already have a few projects, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but I would like to travel as well a lot. So I just try now to find a way to combine uh, a prof professional musician life with the travel. Yeah. So I will see. And I have a feeling you're going to keep studying too. Yeah, <laughs> I think you'll never stop studying music. Yeah, right? yeah, you're right. That feeling about you. <laughs> yeah, for example, I would like to go one day in India or to get some mm. uh, a taste of this music yeah, yeah, eventually. And um, so, yeah, I would like to try to combine these two aspects, like work in Brittany as a, maybe a teacher a bit and and uh, a performer yeah. in bands, but also travel uh, for. When I say travel, it's big travel, not, not just go on a stage uh, for a weekend, but yeah. try live, to live in the country and live yeah, try to stay a bit long, yeah. a bit longer, um, mm. and that's it. And al also, I started to ma make instruments. As there's someone who helped me to do that. So well. wow. I have you got, every, you got everything covered. So what? <laughs> yeah. You can teach it, you can play it, and you can make it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Oh, I'm kind of nerd, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never be short of work anyway, wherever you go. <laughs> So I'm going to actually try and say a little bit of French now because um, you have a quote on your, your Facebook page. You're going to tell me how good or bad this is and maybe explain what the quote is. Okay. Okay, so, uh, pour vivre heru vivon caché. That's not bad. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I say it again. Irish, French. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you say it the right way and then explain what that means. So, pour vivre heru vivon caché. I wasn't even close. <laughs> I wasn't even close. No, you were. <laughs> so... Um, Oh, I wrote that a long time ago, but um, the meaning probably is uh, um, so you if you are if you leave um, hidden, you you will not get too many troubles or things like this. And also maybe it's more uh, it's it's um, important to stay humble. And, okay. um, so to stay hidden as opposed to hiding away at home. You mean like to to keep your yeah, Ar arrogance at being the, the way we use it is more like this: yeah. stay okay. humble and, yeah. and not be arrogant or gotcha. showy or fancy. I don't know <laughs> what's the words, but um, yeah, stay humble uh, in your path. Because gotcha. you, yeah, cool. Um, what I like to do is I like to ask a random question, so something that's not musical related at okay. all. If that's okay with you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the question I want to ask you is: What is your favorite beer? Beer. Yeah. Uh, I would say the the the, the, huh, 
Bonnet rouge in Brittany, it's a good one. Okay. Or Guinness as well. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's good, yeah. What's the Guinness like in France? Uh, sorry? What's the Guinness like in France? Well, I, I actually don't drink so much okay. Guinness in okay. France because here it's much better. <laughs> That's the real reason yeah. for Ireland, isn't it? And it's a part really of the context, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. When I'm in France, I drink beer, uh, French beers and, and here Guinness most, most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, um, you're going to play a, a song for us? That's it, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Instrumental, yeah. So, what I'm going to play uh, is a Breton piece mm -hmm. which is called Enterro. So, Enterro is a kind of dance. It's not the title of the space, the actual uh, melody. Um, it's uh, because we don't have any titles for for each melody. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So it's a kind of dance um, used mostly in the, um, the area of uh, Van. It's the south of Brittany. Mm -hmm. um, so there's few things to tell about that. Um, it's also a composition I did. And the second tune is uh, highly inspired from a tradi traditional tune, and I get I got inspiration from the um, the old. Uh, so and did, you, did you write this? Yeah, you I wrote this. Okay, I wrote yeah. this. Yeah, so that I arranged yeah. everything because Good. on the harp, um, I mean the the Breton instruments didn't know the um, the the aspects of the chords or things like that. It's more melodic, a uh, melodic tradition. So on the harp, you have to invent everything. Every, um, I mean the the accompaniment and things I guess, right. and so I got inspiration from this old um, Bignot and Bombard, uh, which had the, um, a, a weird scale in the past. Like they were tuned like a piano, they were tuned differently, and it gives a, a taste of like like a, an exotic taste, I would say. Okay. So the thing is, my harp is uh, tuned a bit like a piano, so it's not exactly. Uh, like the, this old Bombard and Bignot, but uh, at least you will get um, an inspiration from that. Cool. Yeah. So, Enter Draw. Enter Draw. Yeah. Okay, my French is getting a little better. <laughs> a little better. <laughs> I like your art. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Quentin, thank you so much. You're absolute, very welcome. Absolute legend. Thank you for being here and for doing the interview. So, uh, Quentin Vestur is going to uh, perform Enter Draw. On yeah. <laughs> Okay, until next time for us here at Cup of Tea TV, chill chat and tunes, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Legend. <laughs> Legend. Thank you so much. Thank you.